Hello, my uh, woo people out there who's listening to my uh, little uh, reading of Space Code Far Entity. Um, thank you for joining me. This is going to be the Alta 2016 April report. Um, and without further ado, let's just jump into our favorite uh, entity slash entry in the Alta report, which is the Space Code Farts. All right, the outspreading of the personal technology revolution is showing as accelerating over the next few years with several announcements. Coming this summer in Northern Hemisphere, the data is forecasting new refining electrical separation of the elements from aggregates, okay, will be one of the announcements which is in a direct line to the upcoming, or yeah, upcoming technology few years out in which smart refining bots will, will slide down veins of ore and electrically extract the minerals. That sounds cool. That has great uses in, in like mining asteroids in space. I feel like I feel like once this is there, that's what we're gonna use it for. We're gonna like put it into like asteroids and mine ores from asteroids and get minerals from asteroids. It's gonna be amazing. At least my thinking is that. It does not say that in the report. I just wanna clarify that for those of you who are listening. Um, for those of you who are like following and, and looking at the video, I mean, it's not there. So just wanted to clarify. This first announcement is showing as being very underwhelming to the global or to the globe in general. So, you know, most people, they're not going to care. I don't think they understand the, the significance <laughs> of it, <laughs> but exciting, a huge interest among physicists and makers. So that's good. There's always a subset that's excited by certain technologies. And, you know, I like, I like when makers and physicists are excited because then, you know, stuff's going down, <laughs> like real stuff is going down. Other sets in the Space Code Farts entity with noteworthy growth include nearly every set that is related to Terra entity, climate, and weather. Okay, so that's cool. In these sets, we continue to note growth in new supporting subsets for unknown energies from space. Okay. All right, as well as identified new forms of energies uh, from space. Oh, we're going to identify new forms of energy from space. Cool. All right, these latter sets include UV rays as well as electrical discharges at a micro level at the very edge of the upper atmosphere. There's a book on electrical universe, um, universe and those, uh, those things can actually like um, describe it, I guess, slightly good. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing the new, whatever new stuff that's going to come out is probably going to add to the current uh, electrical understanding of the universe. So if you're interested, go look up electrical understandings of the universe and, you know, you'll find, um, you'll find precursors to what's going to emerge um, and that'll be cool. Other sets with large new supporting subsets include chemtrails and new glaciation. Okay, so we're going to have new glaciation. Guys, we're going to enter an ice age, like just going to let you all know that's what's happening. Like, you know, that's it. You know, <laughs> there's nothing else more for me to say. Ice age all the way. Um, the Space Goat Farts entity is also suggesting that CERN is going to screw up and Large Hadron Collider is going to go bad slash be sour and cause problems with local rocks. I love the phrase cause problems with local rocks, like <laughs> as opposed to like, you know, international rocks. <laughs> The phrasing local rocks is kind of funny to me, you know. Sometimes I feel like Cliff is writing it out in this specific way because he's just, he's just, uh, he's a rap, or he's a poet and he didn't even know it. He's a radical linguistical rapper with talents uh, that, that drops bars from the gods, <laughs> or rather the web bots. <laughs> so that's, that's cool. I love that phrase. Cause problems with local rocks. Awesome. These sets are cross links uh, over to the big earthquake subsets in China Pop. Hey, uh, I remember the last report, I think the Marsh report mentioned the uh, China Pop and they want studies from the LHC and the CERN people for earthquakes and whatnot. Yeah, so there's cross links to that. So that's great. Space Guard's fart entity is also filling with longer term values for the discussion of a pending arrival Note that while the data sets are tending to lean towards arrival in the meaning of a traveler, there's no definition of what the traveler may be. So, okay. It could be referencing a comet or an asteroid. Isn't that like, okay, I'm presuming, I'm presuming that that is Apophis. 
Apophis is going to come and, you know, that's going to be the thing that we're going to be losing our minds over. Not sure. Maybe it's something else, but all right, let's keep reading. Without regard to the nature of the traveler, what is of interest here is that officialdom is being described as shitting sharp bricks. See, Cliff Eye is a radical a crypto rapper. Like, that's what he is, a poet. <laughs> that is such a good way of describing things. Shitting sharp bricks. Oh my god, that must hurt. <laughs> over the upcoming event, as well as freaking out slash losing mind over the bad circumstances within the social order. Okay. Minneapolis riots, COVID-19, and of course, we have the impending um, Apophis. Uh, we got local uh, locust invasions in different countries right now. I mean, stuff's going to, stuff's going down. Like, 2020 is turning out to be really, 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 really hard. <laughs> and it's only going to get weirder, guys, according to this report. Um, and again, my supposition is all the events are going to happen. The timing of when they're going to happen is wrong, but the events themselves are going to manifest. It's like this. The movie is going to have a screening. We just don't know when the timing of the screening is going to be. You know, it, you know, I, he, Cliff High was a bit too early to the, to the premiere <laughs> with his web bots, but you know, so, you know, that's, that's uh, one of the things when you're forecasting the future, you can be early and timing is my friends, a snitch, a female dog, and a whole bunch of other things that, uh, uh I won't say, <laughs> but you get the meaning and you get the understanding. This latter is apparently due to adding complexity to a situation that is already mentally taxing to conceptualize. Ooh, I wonder what that's going to be. So that does it for the April reports. Um, I'm going to do it reverse now. I'm going to do a reverse summary. So I'm going to go from bottom to top. Usually I just go to the top and come back down, but we're going to go the other way. Basically, you know, we're going to have a traveler that's going to be coming around and, you know, official them is going to be shitting bricks, very sharp bricks to be specific. You know, social circumstances are going to be bad. Um, and then it's going to be very mentally taxing and, you know, complex to com conceptualize. China Pop is going to get all like, yo, guys, uh, what's up with the with the CERN and you, you guys causing earthquakes and CERN's going to screw up because, you know, Large Hadron Collider is uh, dealing with so much electricity. It's uh, it's bound to. So, you know, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah. Uh, Space Court Farts is uh, saying, hey, you know, new glaciation, uh, uh, prepare for uh, Ice Age. And uh, yeah, we're going to identify... Um, uh, sorry, I didn't say prepare for an ice age. I said that. But given new glaciation, ice age is in uh, incoming, and so you should probably prepare. Um, it says, you know, we're going to identify new forms of energies from space, and, you know, we're having more sets going to the idea of unknown energies from space growing. Um, what else? We're going to be able to electrically extract minerals from uh, the, the veins of ore, uh, by using electrical separations of elements from aggregates. And we're going to have like smart re refining robots, which is going to be awesome. And in, in my opinion, has really, 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 really valuable use in space. Uh, if and when we get to space. Um, and, you know, given all the UFO woo -woo stuff and the new electrics and all that, I'm pretty sure we're going to get, get into space at some point. Like, we're not going to stay bound to the planet. Um, and given the fact that we're going to see um, Mars and... And all the ancient archaeology over there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> At least some of the ones that are watching this uh, this um, video and listening to me, be be certain that in your lifetime, uh, depending on your age, if you're if you're below fifty, we are probably gonna go to space. Like I am convinced of that. Anyways, I may be completely wrong on that account. But my opinion, again, I'm allowed to have one. If you don't like it, get your own and make your own videos because these things are now, you know, free for the world to see. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you in the next uh, Space Code Farts report interpretation slash witty commenting by me. See you later. Bye.